Hey everybody, welcome to another Pro Acoustics Tech Talk. I'm Nathan, and today we're gonna to talk about how to daisy chain speakers. All right, so when you daisy chain speakers, daisy chaining basically means wiring from one speaker to another speaker. Um, there's a few different ways to do it, um, depending on how you want to wire it, which kind of depends on your end result, um, which all comes down to um, impedance and amount of wattage and you know some complicated terms along those lines that we're gonna try and break down here a little bit. Um, so for this next portion, I'm gonna have to go over with us uh, the difference between series wiring and parallel wiring. All right, so the, for the purpose of this illustration here, we've got um, two different sets of amplifiers and speakers. Got an amplifier over here that I'm gonna wire up in series to two eight ohm speakers. And over here, I have an amplifier that I'm gonna wire up um, in parallel to two eight ohm speakers. All right, so the first step is gonna be, we're gonna take our positive wire from the positive terminal of the amplifier and wire it to speaker one. We are then going to take the negative uh, we're going to wire from the negative terminal to the positive terminal of the next speaker and then from there we are essentially going to wire back to the negative terminal of the amplifier. When we do that this essentially gives us uh, first of all this is wired up in series and this is going to uh, basically take the two um, speakers impedance 8 and 8 and add them together to give us a total of 16 ohms. Uh, so by basically wiring in this fashion we have increased our impedance which um, actually gives us uh, less amplifier output with most amplifiers than it would if we just wired up to a single speaker. In contrast, we're gonna wire up this amplifier over here in parallel. So I'm gonna take my, my uh, positive wire, and I'm gonna wire that to my first speaker, and then I'm gonna take a negative wire from the negative terminal and wire that here. Now from there, I'm actually going to wire from the positive terminal of speaker one to the positive terminal of speaker two. I'm gonna repeat that for the negative. So in, by doing this, I've essentially taken you know, the positive to positive, negative to negative, and then jumped positive to positive, negative to negative. If I wanted to, I could technically wire this not from the speaker, but wire a second home run from the amplifier. Wiring from the amplifier directly to a speaker is called a home run. Uh, by doing this, 8 ohm and 8 ohm in parallel, um, I have effectively cut the impedance in half. 4 ohms versus 16 ohms. A 4 ohm load on most amplifiers is going to require more output and draw more wattage from the amplifier than it would with a 16 ohm load. Alright, so the question then may become, which one is right for me? Do I want to do parallel or series? Um, one of the benefits of doing series is that sometimes we need to do more than um, two speakers and, and we still many times need to get back to an approximate 8 ohm or 4 ohm load on an amplifier. Not all amplifiers are rated for 2 ohms, which is what happens when we add more and more uh, 8 ohm speakers in parallel. So sometimes series may make sense in that type of application. Um, but many times you're going to find that parallel is done much more often in the, in the field. Um, and most of the time when we talk about daisy chaining, we're going to be talking about um, wiring in parallel. Uh, that's essentially what you're going to find on the back of pro audio speakers that may have a pass-through, like a quarter-inch pass-through or a Speak-On or NL4 or Neutrik, um, so, as it's sometimes known, pass-through. Um, and that's what we're going to review here in just a moment. All right, so now that we know more about wiring in parallel and in series, like I mentioned, on the back of a Pro Audio type speaker, you may sometimes find an input and a pass-through. These are basically just wired in parallel, meaning the positive uh, from one goes to the positive of the other, and same with the negative. That way you can essentially use either one of these um, as your input and then also as your pass-through. So what that looks like is, let's say this side's coming out of my amplifier, I'm going to use this as my input, click that in place, and then I'm just going to use the second one, and wire that over to speaker two. So now I've essentially daisy chained from the amp to this speaker to that speaker, uh, which as we know is in parallel. That means this 8 ohm speaker, when ran in parallel with this 8 ohm speaker, actually lowers the impedance, cuts it in half, 
in parallel, which gives us a 4 ohm load on the amplifier. This differs slightly from if we want to daisy chain multiple commercial type speakers, like in a 70 volt environment. 70 volt is almost always in parallel. Uh, series would get very complicated. So almost always in 70 volt, you're running parallel. Uh, on something like a, a commercial uh, ceiling speaker, you normally have Euro blocks on the back. So you have an input and then basically a pass through. All right. You have your positive and negative input and then an output for positive and negative. Those are wired internally in parallel as well. So you basically just wire from your amplifier into your input, positive and negative, and then out to the next speaker. And guys, that is essentially how you daisy chain speakers. Be sure and drop us a like and any comments down below and let us know if we can help with anything. And until next time, guys, take care.